So one of the most important things on a mountain hunt is your ability to glass and be able to pick up the game. Yeah, you can be as fit as you want. If you can't see them, then you can't take them. When I move through country, one of the big things in the mountain environment that I'm doing is when I get to a new area, say I'm hiking to a call or a pass, and then I'm going to open up new terrain, I always take my pack off, set it down, because I know I'm going to be spending some time there just really picking everything apart. So once I do that, say I don't see anything, then I'm ready to move on. So now what I'm going to do often, I'm going to be hiking and glassing at the same time. If I've spent enough time that I feel comfortable that, you know, there's just, there's nothing there that's obvious and I need to move on to the next mountain block or move through a valley. Now what I'm going to be doing for the most part is glassing while standing and utilizing just speed because I know I need to get through, but also be efficient and see what, uh, as you go by a ridge or often, obviously, animals can pop out of anywhere in the mountain environment. So you constantly got to be looking. I always have my head up, looking around, trying to spot game without binoculars. And that might be an indication, like in this case, where we're out goat hunting, or say we're hunting doll sheep, you know, the white spots, they stand out. You can often see them sometimes with just your naked eye and then pull the binoculars out. Or if you're moving through and a new area opens itself up, pull the binoculars out. How I like to have my binos is obviously sitting here just like this. I always clip my chest strap over them. So just to make sure that they're stable when I'm walking and I'm rock hopping, they're not bouncing around at all. And it's just that easy to grab and go. Put them back down, close it up. It literally takes seconds. I don't lose any time. It's super efficient and I have the ability to move through terrain and glass while standing at the same time. And that's why I use 10 powers because I can't handhold 12, especially with a pack on, you know, solid enough to be able to look at the terrain. 10s, I think are the sweet spot for me in the mountains and being efficient and moving through the hills, making sure, you know, no rock is left unturned as best I possibly can. So it's about efficiency, so covering the country and seeing everything that you can see, making sure that there's no animal that gets away.